This is a thing that needs to be a serious and strong conversation about this. We can't be putting it into the too hard basket. People generally want to see some leadership on this topic. And, and Pauline, you, you mentioned there uh, the migration yeah. rate. Let's talk about that because, uh, as I mentioned, the number of permanent yeah. and long-term arrivals, another monthly record of 105,000 in February alone. We're bursting at the seams. But what happened to Labor's plan to halve so migration? Clear. They won't do it. They're only going to start, you know, easing up, coming closer to the election to show the voters, oh, well, we're doing something about it. They've done the damage. You said what's happening in net migration. They can't keep up with construction. Um, and, mm. the, and the fact is, in January, we had 125,000 people come into the country. So they've done the damage. We can't cope with it. This is going to go on for years and years. They've put $10 billion into a housing fund, which means the money that they get in investment will actually build housing. They've admitted they can't do it. They've lied to the Australian people. These people out there who don't follow politics and then hear this announcement think, oh, wonderful, good on Labor. They have done so much damage in this country. I hope people realise this. And, you know, you've got to demand answers from your politicians, from the leaders of the political parties. What are you going to do about it? Don't just give a slip anymore. People want answers how you are going to deal with this. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're almost out of time. But um, and as I mentioned, that long-term overseas arrivals are now outpacing the construction of new homes at a rate of almost four to one. Now, if you're a first home buyer, Pauline Hanson, you may as well give up at this point. A lot of people have. Let me tell you about this too, just quickly. Last year, between 22 and 23, we had 737,000 people to come into the country. 51,605 were actually skilled migrants. Of that, only 1,800 were in the building trading, trade. That's all. Wow. So how the hell are they going to build these houses? They can't. And what I'm hearing from people is a lot of the Australian builders are actually having trouble getting jobs because they're actually employing the overseas tradies that may come into the country. We have a real problem mm -hmm. and uh, they're not dealing with it.